Kyle Mohan Racing. We're here in the KMR shop and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about Renesis hybrid motors. And this is something that uh, Mazda Trix and I built many years ago. Um, we even did a Moto IQ story uh, with uh, Mike Kojima on it. But since uh, it seems to now be more popular than it ever was in the past, I'm going to answer some questions people have asked and show a little bit about what we did years ago with one of the Mazda Trix race and time attack cars. All right, so on the bench, I've got a six-port lapped uh, Renesis iron. And uh, I happen to have uh, one of the KMR bridge ports drawn out on here, uh, some of the exhaust porting as well. But that really isn't what we're here to talk about. It's about how at Mazda Trix, we actually combined the Renesis six port engine, which has your traditional or non-traditional rather side port exhaust with a GSLSE rotor housing, which had a traditional peripheral exhaust. Um, one of the issues that we came across with Renesis motors is they have no shortage of intake volume and you can actually continue to increase the intake volume with street porting or bridge porting, but you're kind of limited on your exhaust flow. And so an easy way to solve this problem was by using the earlier housing that already had a peripheral exhaust in it. Of course, you could probably take an RX-8 rotor housing, bore it, fill it, sleeve it, all of these things, but this is still an off-the-shelf item that you literally can put into a Renesis motor um, you know, with really no big modifications. Here you can see a little bit of why this works so well. Um, you're adding significant volume to your exhaust possibility. With that increased exhaust volume, uh, benefits include uh, lower exhaust temperatures, less heat saturation, which has always been a problem for the Renesis around that exhaust area. And obviously, it's easier to make more horsepower and generates more horsepower more efficiently. Um, you can actually see our dyno charts. Um, I wish we had have videoed this back in the day, but this was a long time ago. We're very efficient. At 11 PSI, we were generating 435 horsepower, and we really weren't even running that tall of a ring and pinion. We were running this particular setup um, in road racing. Um, here's the actual combination. You can see everything was Inconel wrapped. We were using an aluminum upper half uh, for the intake just uh, at the time. These were the things we were able to source, we were able to do um, to help create longevity, help create performance, and test this idea. In the end, it was actually very successful. I've had quite a few people ask uh, why there wasn't more information about this, um, why we don't see it in more RX-8s, and I think uh, there's a couple reasons. Uh, one is, uh, when we did this project, there wasn't the same available uh, social media. We weren't doing as much social media, so we didn't document things uh, like engine builds the same way. Um, the second was we were just basically trying to win in our road race class. We were running the Moto IQ series as well as NASA. Um, so this was a great way to keep the OEM motor, OEM block in the RX-8 and actually generate potentially more horsepower than other 13B uh, rotary applications would. It was also at a time where nobody was really developing uh, high horsepower RX-8s, and that was one of the goals uh, we had at Mazda Trix. Um, in the end, it was successful. Um, it lasted, it ran great, um, and we even won our West Coast Championship uh, with this particular setup. Um, so you can see and a little bit of the assembly here. Very straightforward. We did stud the block. Um, it is RX-8 rotors. We had to deepen the RX-8 rotor grooves, so we ran full-size traditional 13B apex seals, as well as studding the block, like I mentioned, to help uh, basically keep any type of expansion or cracking or fatigue from happening. I really recommend uh, studying your block, um, whether it's an RX-8 or, or an RX-7. 
to help basically create a reliable boosted platform significantly re reduces block twist, block stress, block expansion, and really helps your motor last a lot longer. Personally, I would love to see more of these uh, Renesis hybrids out there, but I think uh, a limited availability of exhaust manifolds, meaning you have to make a custom exhaust manifold, whether you're running naturally aspirated or turbocharged with a block configuration like this, as well as a standalone ECU have kind of limited how many combinations like this you see out there. We weren't the only ones to do this. There were shops in Japan, shops in uh, other Asian continents, as well as Australia that I believe played around with these ideas. But we just haven't seen a lot of this configuration out there. However, you can see from this video, from the dyno chart numbers, from the success of this project, that it is a very viable option for RX-8s. And I think more people should look into doing a custom multi-port exhaust Renesis motor or hybrid Renesis motor, as we like to call it. And I wish everybody luck. I'm happy to answer more questions about this topic. If anybody wants to send in questions, ask questions, we're definitely willing to do another video on this topic if we get enough response. And definitely follow Kyle Mohan Racing. Check out Mazda Tricks and have fun with your rotary cars. That's what it's all about. Learning, making more horsepower, and having a good time.